Saved views are a way to filter and see specific information within our pipelines. They let us start with a pipeline full of boxes and filter it down to see only the ones that we want to work on at any given time. In this lesson, we'll learn what a saved view is, where we can find them, and how to use them in our daily workflow. This lesson is an overview of saved views. In the following lessons, we'll walk through how to actually make basic and advanced saved views. Most of us recognize this pipeline view where we're tracking our wholesale leads. It's important to have all of our leads in this pipeline. This allows us to manage our entire process and run reports on all of our sales in one place. But we also need to be able to hone in on specific information. With saved views, we can filter our pipeline to see certain boxes, like only my own leads, by filtering the assigned to column. This saved view is super useful because it shows each team member their own leads. That means we don't have to create separate pipelines or even separate saved views for each person. This one is starred so we can find it quickly at the top of the list each day. Another saved view that we use daily is one that shows which of my leads haven't replied in a while so I know who to follow up with. For this saved view, we told Streak to only show us boxes in the contacted or follow-up stage that are assigned to me, and in this case, we filtered the date of the last interaction magic column to show only boxes that haven't had any interaction in seven days. Magic columns like this one give us a lot of ways to filter and segment our pipelines. You can add them to your pipelines right now and instantly get tons of useful data. If you're not familiar with magic columns, check out the pipeline deep dive lesson on column types to learn more. I also chose to group these boxes by region instead of stage so I can get a sense of what time zone my leads are in and when the best time might be to follow up. In our hiring pipeline, we have saved views to show us all of our incoming resumes broken out or grouped by the position they're applying for. We also have a few saved views that show us the entire hiring process for each individual role or position. Since they update in real time, saved views are the perfect way to stay on top of follow-up and time-sensitive work. In order to make sure nothing slips through the cracks, I have Streak show me a few important saved views right in my inbox. First, I have all of the boxes in my no contact in seven days saved view, which we saw earlier in the lesson, right here. I can open up any of the boxes to see the last interaction and follow up with my contacts. Or I could go to the saved view and send a mail merge, or move these boxes to a new stage. The second saved view in my inbox shows me any deals that are closing in the next two weeks, since those important leads usually need a little extra attention. This saved view uses the date in the projected close date column. As soon as a box has a close date that falls within the next 14 days, it'll automatically be pulled into this saved view. We covered just a few examples of saved views in this lesson, but there are endless ways to use them in any workflow. Now that we've seen a few, we can start thinking of even more ways that can help us hone in on our most important work. The best way to get started is to play around with creating and using saved views for you and your team. In the next lesson, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to create simple saved views and see important boxes right in your inbox.